Diddy has finally been arrested. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Diddy was just arrested tonight, just now, at a New York City hotel. Oh, it's going down. Diddy traveled to New York in anticipation of his arrest on charges stemming from a grand jury indictment. Diddy was taken into custody at the Park Hyatt, New York, by Homeland Security Investigations, which typically handles XEX trafficking investigations. Diddy's arrest was scheduled for tomorrow, Tuesday, but something happened that caused the feds to move in a day earlier. However, U.S. Attorney Damian Williams says federal agents took him in based on a seal indictment filed by the Southern District of New York. He is expected to be arraigned at Manhattan Federal Court Tuesday, tomorrow morning, at which point the indictment with the charges against him will be unsealed. Earlier this evening, federal agents arrested Sean Combs based on a sealed indictment filed by the SDNY. Damian Williams, the U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of New York, said in a statement, We expect to move to unseal the indictment in the morning and we'll have more to say at that time. Diddy was taken to the FBI field office in Manhattan. It appears the action was taken in connection with the ongoing criminal investigation into alleged SEX trafficking and other offenses that led to search warrants being issued and executed at Diddy's homes in Beverly Hills and Miami. A grand jury has been hearing testimony from various accusers over the last few months. Diddy's attorney, Mark Agnifilo, says we are disappointed with the decision to pursue what we believe is an unjust prosecution of Mr. Combs by the U.S. Attorney's Office. Sean Diddy Combs is a music icon, self-made entrepreneur, loving family man, and proven philanthropist who has spent the last 30 years building an empire, adoring his children, and working to uplift the black community. Eglifolo adds, he is an imperfect person, but is not criminal. To his credit, Mr. Combs has been nothing but cooperative with this investigation, and he voluntarily relocated to New York last week in anticipation of these charges. Please reserve your judgment until you have all the facts. These are the acts of an innocent man with nothing to hide. And he looks forward to clearing his name in court. Get the heck out of here, Mark Agnifilo. I can't stand these lying lawyers. Yeah, I know it's their job to lie and defend. But you see, I couldn't be a lawyer. I could not defend evil. I couldn't, knowing that they are evil, knowing that they lie, and I still have to defend them and help them get off? Oh no, I couldn't do it. Knowing that they are lying, knowing that they did everything that they were accused of, knowing that they really are guilty, but yet your job is to defend them. Your job is to help them get off. How do you sleep at night? How do these lawyers sleep at night? They clearly have no conscience. Because I know I couldn't. I wouldn't be able. I wouldn't be able. I would say, oh, no, I'm not taking this. Well, a lot of lawyers, they don't take certain cases. See, these are lawyers who have morals, you know. But a lot of them don't. It's all about the money. So I hope the money is worth it in the end. You see, there are people who have unalive hundreds of people or whatever, and there are lawyers who will take the case and defend such evil and help them get off. <laughs> That's crazy. You know what? I feel like when someone do a crime, they should be their own lawyer. They shouldn't be able to hire anyone. You do the crime, then you need to stand in front of the judge, in front of the jurors, and you need to defend yourself. Yeah, that's what I, I yeah, that's how I feel. They need to be their own lawyers. They shouldn't have no one else help them get off. Did the person help you do the crime? No. So why should they help you get off? 
Why should that help you get off? You do the crime, now it's your time to stand in it and defend your crime. Or whatever, defend how if you're guilty, not guilty. If you want to lie and say you're not guilty, okay, well, stand in it and prove that you're not guilty. It shouldn't be anyone's job to help you get off. Right? Right? Am I right or what? <laughs> but yeah, so Diddy, I prayed for this day. I even prayed yesterday for this day. Finally. Oh, finally. Diddy, you monster, you demon. I love this for you, Diddy. I love this for you. I've always said Diddy is guilty until proven innocent. And that will never happen. Diddy will not be able to prove innocent because he's not innocent. That's why I've always said Diddy is guilty until proven innocent since day one. Since day one, this guy is not innocent, not even close. Everything he's been accused of, he is guilty of. Everything and more. And there will be things that we may not even hear about that he's done, that he's into, that may not even be talked about in court. Okay, keep that in mind. If you know, you know. Wow, what a year. And we haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> Jeez. What's to come? Oh, my. But yes, let's keep exposing evil. Let's expose evil. Evil will never win. In the end, will never win. Okay? So let's shed lights on evil. Let's shed lights on these demons. Okay? I'm so happy. I'm so happy. What a night. <laughs> what a night. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you on the next one, okay? Peace.